let's go to the matches themselves. Boston comes in, a team that has a coach that's been there for 30-plus years. They've been to a lot of tournaments. And in the first round, knowing that second, no matter who you face, if you can get past that first round, it's going to be a tough uh, uh, second-round match. You want to have a fairly easy first day, and boy, you guys really took care of Boston quickly. Yeah, I really give Boston a lot of credit, though, because they – surprised me to be honest with how well they played in the doubles and in certain spots and singles and it was exactly what we needed it was just a tough enough of a match that we got in some good work and we didn't get to fall into some bad habits with just walking through a match and so they pushed us but we got on and off the court as you mentioned in a, in a good fashion so that was really good to prepare us for uh, the next day because Arizona State really got off the court fairly quickly as well so uh, we wanted to be able to do the same. Regional final, you take on Arizona State, Coach. You lose the doubles point, and that is such a crucial point. At that point, you're kind of behind the eight ball, but you really had some kids that stepped up. We did. You know, we just didn't play as well as we wanted to at number one doubles. Um, number three doubles has been a rock for us all season, but their three doubles just played lights out. So, you know, we went into the locker room, and I just told the girls, it's not going to be easy, and you shouldn't want it to be easy. The first time that we're going to the Sweet 16, you want to earn it. And when you look at it, I mean, if you if you wanted to create drama, if you wanted to write the script, you would have had Victoria, the co-Big 12 Player of the Year, out there to get your team there. The dramatics were there, the fans were there, and unfortunately the result was there. Yeah, really just, I mean, it's just such a blessing how um, this program, everything has really evolved for us in so many ways. And to, you know, get three points on the board, they came back, and then to have, you know, our best versus their best, two girls that are, you know, both All-American caliber players, and those girls just battled. I mean, there was some excellent points, some great tennis. It went back and forth. And at 5-all, she got the critical break to go up 6-5. You know, she was down 5-4. And so she won the last three games. And as I mentioned, you know, had two match points. The first one was a little <laughs> nervous. You don't want to let that one slip away and go to a tiebreaker. We'd had enough all the drama we wanted at that point in time. But just um, I couldn't be more proud and happy and just thankful that uh, everything turned out the way that it did. And our fans were great and made a big difference. So you, now you had a real senior day. You finally do move on the road. You head down to Waco, Texas, which is where you're headed. And that's kind of the Mecca for, for this one. For this year, it is the Mecca. Florida, Friday, 5 o'clock. And again, great job getting there. But you guys aren't done yet. You guys are still looking forward to try to, because you've taken a huge step. You'd love to take one more. Yeah, I told the girls, you know, let's not be satisfied with just getting to the Sweet 16. That's, that's a goal. Um, but, you know, we have bigger goals in this program, and, you know, you got to keep knocking down barriers and, and building. And we had a lot of success, honestly, playing against Florida this fall, so it gives us some confidence going into the match. We know they're tough. They knocked us out last year in the second round at their place. So there's a lot of familiarity between the two teams, but uh, we got nothing to lose. We're going to go down there. They're five in the country. We're 12. Um, let's see what happens. 12, five upsets happen all the time in basketball. Let's that's, make it happen in women's that's tennis. That's what I told someone coming in here, so let's see what happens. No doubt. Congratulations and best of luck this week. Thank you. Well, the men came up just a little bit short in their bid for an NCAA tournament Sweet 16 berth, but they had an outstanding season. Jay Uwadia joins us next as we continue right after this.